All right, yo, J Biz Retro Corner back at this evening. We have this sweet ass Nintendo thing. We're gonna be giving that away to one lucky viewer. First person to comment and tell me what the name of the purple Ninja Turtle is. And we're back at you though with another unboxing video. Now I did go ahead and black out some stuff so that no one would show up and have surprise butt sex with me. So I'd appreciate it if y'all would try to respect everyone's privacy. And we just got a few things in so we're gonna have a look at it and make sure it all looks good and then we're gonna go leave glowing feedback. Alrighty. So you see this guy double enveloped this because it's a very important game. So I'm actually going to save this for last. So I got the cases out and everything because that's it's the kind of game that's going to go in a case. Just to keep from getting cornered or whatever even if I am playing it. So let's make sure it's the case is in a case. Alright, what do we got? Oh, nice. This got here pretty quick. This is a library copy. And that this isn't really this isn't a bayonetta thing anyway, so I can always just put that in, but so I got a library copy of the two bayonetta games. Let's see. Looks good. It looks really good. I wish I went to the library and bought got bayonetta games, but I haven't been in a long time. Alright, that's sweet dude. So Library sent me, or no, some, someone sent me Bayonetta from the library. It looks great. It has like no ticks or anything in it. That's awesome. Alright, second we got something from a guy named Kreisky. Some of you might have seen his channel. Uh, so we're going to see how he did. He did a good job shipping minimally. Um, and I think he has pretty good low shipping cost. We got Flying Dragon for the N64. We got a pretty good deal. He was able to come down a tad for me. And I wonder if he cleans his games and does them right like, like I do. I always clean them right before I ship them out. But I just wanted to, to see if this one will boot. Oh, come on, Kreisky. There we go. So I know that works at least. But nope, he doesn't really run, uh, I guess he doesn't run a Q-tip or nothing before he sends it. But anyway, still very happy to get that game. So that's very cool to get. And now this, I don't quite remember what this one was so I'm gonna have a little bit of a surprise myself and I hope I don't have something crappy in here cuz that's what the music would suggest oh that's right we've been doing a uh, modded atomic purple controllers so this one looks to be in fantastic shape. I'm going to take something that costs me about 20 and I'm going to try to turn it into a lot more. So that's a good one to have. Alright, finally we're going to get back to this game that is double sealed for me. And I was really stoked the seller understood because it's an expensive title. The titles for Wii U. Let me make sure I do my part in getting this out clean. And I know nothing happened in shipping. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Name that. Celebrity, come on, man. 
All right, that's it. Wind Waker HD right there. Now, I knew it was going to be in this condition. I got a pretty good deal on it. I think it looks pretty good, if you ask me. That was the most notable thing, is one puncture right there. Very minimal. But yeah, it looks great. Can't believe I finally got this game. This is a, uh, a sort of grail for the Wii U. A great way to play this game, um, game in HD and... I really look forward to playing through it. I've actually never uh, never played Wind Waker. So from what I hear, I have a really good one in store. So that's just what we got. That's what we got in one day. And we're definitely gonna hold this, but the other stuff's, and we're gonna hold this. Uh, we're keeping it all. This one's gonna come up for sale though eventually. Thanks for checking in, Jabez Retro Corner. Y'all have a good one. Peace.